For over a decade, the California High Speed Rail Authority has taken numerous steps towards completion of the long scale project, where thousands of California residents have been impacted from constant development. Its effects have taken serious tolls towards individuals and families within the state, as large quantities of Californians have been burdened upon with tax after tax for the instantiation of the railway. However, this remains to be a viable issue, as actions of the California High Speed Rail have proved to violently dismantle the establishment of profitable agricultural land, deprive the state of its enriching resources, and robbing individuals of employment and businesses, which overall has sparked demanding controversy of future development of the high-speed rail system. The California High-Speed Rail has been actively creating employment for residents of the state, with particular emphasis in the construction factor. Roughly around 2,000 jobs have been reinforced for construction within the Central Valley alone, and is expected to increase drastically within the next decade. The instantiation of employment opportunities in the California High-Speed Rail has abruptly impacted those within the working and middle-class social rail sphere. It's going to benefit the economy. Uh, it's going to uh, address the needs in our future. It's going to focus on uh, bringing... We know the mid and long term is very promising for economic development in Fresno. But there's also this tremendous opportunity in the short term. And that comes from the jobs that will be created as the project is... If you've been on unemployment insurance for a long time, that would qualify you. If you're a returning veteran, that will qualify. If you're a single mom, if you're a high school dropout, there's, a, there's 11 different categories that can qualify somebody. The high-speed rail project continues to outweigh the negative destruction of land and business through its development and therefore is networking thousands of employment opportunities for those who feel the railway has deprived them of their livelihoods and reputations as Californians. High-speed rail authority proposals have led members of the California Farm Bureau and the entire farming community to mass emotional upheaval, as the high-speed system has been set to cause detrimental effects on farmland, stripping farmers away from viable land and damaging the landscape of the state. Although the high-speed rail authority has promoted benefits from the stripping of land, the California Farm Bureau demonstrates discomfort while utterly conforming to the wants of the rail system. According to California High-Speed Rail meditation proposals, the authority insists that they will preserve at least one acre of farmland for every acre taken out from production. Despite the High-Speed Rail covering up from actions, the California Farm Bureau emphasizes that they may not be able to recover from the loss of land. The proposals complicate matters further by claiming farmers could improve farming infrastructure, purchase additional land, and form financial planning. The Farm Bureau, however, denies the promoted statements to be productive, but rather costly, as previous land that has been stripped is less likely to thrive. Purchasing of additional land may put farm owners in extreme debt, as well as due to previous loss of land, agricultural profit, and future land development. This is not what we voted for. They are targeting agricultural land arbitrarily, and uh, they're doing that because they think it's the path of least resistance. They're going, they plan to carve up and destroy miles of the most prime productive land in the valley for a project that may never be completed. The California High-Speed Rail has not only affected agricultural farmland, however, the Farm Bureau has also instantiated the recurring aftermaths of depleted landscapes and resources towards fellow businesses, in which investors that profit from farmers will no longer endure due to loss of productivity and investments, and apparently are unable to speak out. Many businesses located around farmland or within close radius to California high-speed rail production are facing closure due to the railway's vast construction efforts. However, according to the Community Benefits Agreement, the California High-Speed Rail Authority urges demands towards businesses or owners who refuse to endure amongst losses stating that there shall be no strikes, picketing, work stoppages, slowdowns, or other disruptive activity during construction. The California High-Speed Rail project has majorly impacted the lives of Californians who have had to pay constant taxes for the long-term effects of the railway and into its completion. 
The apparent $100 billion California high-speed rail project is demonstrated to eventually be on the verge of collapse, as efforts to pay for the railway have outweighed its actual development and completion. Getting legal permission to put the tracks and stations on land that is not owned by the state, costing $725 million. Barriers to protect the high-speed rail trains from freight trains are costing an extra $450 million. And finally, relocating utilities is costing an additional $350 million. Everything big uh, runs into opposition. The Central Valley Water Project was uh, stigmatized and attacked. In fact, California couldn't go forward. We were going to build the state, going to build the water project. We ran out of the money in the Depression, and we had to go to the federal government. So people do get pulsillanimous. I wanted to use that word because that's the adjective I'm going to affix to all the critics. You can go look it up right now on your cell phone. Look it up. It's right there. Pulsillanimous. It means weak of spirit. 